into the land of Israel. Remember Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 say, you that were dead in sins he had quickened again. Remember he quickened. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 say, he quickened, we were quickened. Now go ahead and read. Verse 13. He said, I will, you were dead in sins and trespasses. This is here the gospel is being presented. The hopelessness of the world, the death of the world, and life coming back again to that which is dead, to all creation, to all who will believe. Go ahead. Verse 13. Yes. And, and ye sh shall know that I am the Lord mm -hmm. when I have opened your graves, mm -hmm. O my people, mm -hmm. and brought you up out of your graves. Uh -huh. And shall put my spirit in you, mm -hmm. and you shall live, mm -hmm. and I shall place you in your own land. Mm -hmm. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, said the Lord. The Lord was declaring, revealing something. Go ahead. 15. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. Hold on to that place. Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. 1, 2, 2, up to 4, to 5, sorry. When the Bible talks about the riches of his grace and talks about what happened, the exceeding riches of his grace, his kindness towards us. Look at God took Ezekiel and showed him the, 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 the state of humanity, mankind and ask him can these bones live and the, uh, Ezekiel put it back to the father and said only you have the power only you know whether they can live and he says listen it is my determination now look again you can read uh, chapter 1 when you are on your own and for everything starts from there it is good pleasure the counsel of his will. No, now verse 1. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1. You had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of the world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of the civilians, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and we are by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together. Praise God. God who is rich in mercy. Look at here. He began to speak to the prophet Ezekiel. He began to determine the resurrection of the bones that were exceedingly dry, bringing them back to life. Praise God. And it says here, but even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Christ. Praise God. By grace you are saved and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse 7. That in the ages to come, are you with me where I'm reading? Yes, sir. He might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us. He might show the exceeding riches of his grace in the ages to come. He's still going to show us the exceeding riches of his grace that brought us such kindness, such loving favor that saved us who were already dead in sins, who were already judged and condemned. We didn't understand what he said. We thought he saved us for bread and butter, for cars and houses and mansions. No. In the, in, we will see when we will behold the things he prepared for us that we were not even worthy of. 
By any stroke, by any long shot, we were not worthy. That in the ages to come, not now, when he would have finished and brought us and raised us up in Christ Jesus and raised us to be his companions, eternal fellows and eternal companions, we will actually be equal with Jesus. Remember, the Bible calls us, we are the heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus. Just as the, the woman is equal to the man, remember, being taken from her rib, but the woman is submissive to the man, isn't it? And the man is the head of the woman, right? So Christ is the head, remember. Eh? We are his fellows, we are his companions, eternal companions, not the angels. The angels will not go with him, it's we that will go with him. Hallelujah. The angels will never accompany him before his father. He says, the angels will never sit with him. We are the only ones that have been raised to sit together with him. We are his eternal companions. And the way he loved his father is the way we are to love his father. The way he knows his father is the same way we will come to the knowledge of his father. We are to know his father, have his same mind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Huh? And the way he was submissive with the life that the father gave him. And he is going to give us the same life. The same eternal life. So that we will be, this will have the same life. Huh? Will we, when we have that same life, will, will we rebel like Satan? Even though the son has such glory and such honor and such power. Yet he humbled himself, right? He regarded it as nothing. He was always seeking his father's pleasure and will. When we have the same spirit of Christ, that is what we will be doing. Are you following what I'm saying? We will not be running riots, going different directions. Oh, when Jesus is going this way, we say, I don't feel like going that way. You understand what I'm saying? We will be one spirit with him. That in the ages to come, he will show you know, but that's why the scripture says, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, right? What the Father has prepared for them that love him. No one knows. These are the things that awaits you and me. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us. That God should make us to be as God's. That's his plan. That we will be as what? Gods. That we will be as his son. As gods. Ruling the universe. The limitless, endless universe. Ruling and reigning with his son upon his throne. We will be as gods. We will then have been perfected in faith. We will be strengthened with might. In our inner man. We will not be weaklings anymore. We will be full of might. Full of counsel. Full of wisdom. Full of strength. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We will be. Our lips will speak the mysteries. We will have full understanding of God's mysteries. We will be the children of mysteries. Children of the kingdom. Are you following what I'm saying? Many of us, oh, I'm born again, I'm a child of God. Weigh yourself. Look at it again. Look at the depths from which we were raised. We think we were something. Look, like I said, oh, refurbished, refurbished old nature. Refurbished uh, old man. Oh, and then you are not, you have to understand you were once dead. You were quickened. You were wake, wake, you are woken up from the dead, right? From the sleep of death. You came now into the knowledge of God, into the knowledge of, like I told you, he just like opens curtains, opens portals, opens doors. Like my understanding, my, everything becomes new to me. Everything becomes clearer to me that I couldn't understand. I wouldn't struggle like, oh, what am I going to preach? I didn't come here thinking, what am I going to preach? Oh, this is uh, first scripture. You see me standing here, I'm, I'm looking, I search. I'm just so I prepare ten scriptures, eh? I'm going to do that. I don't do like that. Because I'm not trusting, oh, I got 
20, 10 scriptures and I follow one after another. You see me, I have to wait. I have to search. I have to get the scripture because he is speaking. I understand that because I do not want to come. And just because I did it some years ago. 10, 15 years ago. You understand what I'm saying? That in the ages to come, he might show. And look at first he took Ezekiel. He said, look, this is humanity. This is the whole world, the human race. Look at them in the valley. The bones are dry. They are very dry. Many bones, all humanity. Can they live again? Ezekiel said, only you know. Oh Lord, thou alone know it. He said, now preach, prophesy. Prophesy is a preaching. The gospel that we preach. That is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Apostle Paul, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. He said, now prophesy and speak. And he began to prophesy. Then the bones began to come together. There was a power in that prophecy, right? God gave authority. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of them that what? Published it. That published it. That preached it. He said, now prophesy. He had the mind of God. The mind of God was to get all this fallen humanity back on their feet again. To become the army he has intended them to be. His workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. If you look the next verse there in Ephesians chapter 2 I was supposed to read. Which says that for we are his workmanship. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Eh? Yes, sir. Verse 10. For we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. Unto good works. Which God. Who? Had, of, had before ordained that we should walk in. You are not walking. You are not laboring. You are not supposed to be laboring. Doing the work of the Father. Jesus never rested day and night. He was always going. He was always preaching from city to city, village to village. He was not tired. When he's tired, they carried him. He get it, he's taking a little nap. He gets up to the other side. He started to preach. Healings, deliverance. Many things that he did, if they were recorded, the world would not have, have any space for the books. And so here was God speaking to the prophet. And said, look, and said, I will put my spirit in you. I will set, you know, and I will bring you up again from the grave. And I will... And now go ahead, read, go back to, to Ezekiel, please. Yes, sir. Yes. Verse 16. Yes. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. Uh -huh. and go ahead. Upon this, it. Is an, this is another place. When Apostle Paul said, Ah, he made known unto me the mystery, the knowledge of his mystery. Apostle Paul said, He had made of two, of two, one new man. He made peace. There was the Gentiles. Then there was. There was a house of Joseph. The house of Ephraim. And there was a house of Judah. He said take one stick. Write on it the house of Judah. Which is the Jewish nation. Then write on it. Remember Joseph was. Remember. Eh? Was one that was sold. Remember. And his son is who? Ephraim. Remember. Eh? So Ephraim represents the house of Joseph, remember. Which also represents those who are cast out, the hidden, remember. And he said to, 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 to him, son of man, take one stick, write there the house of Judah and his companions. And then right here, take another one, write here the house of Ephraim and his companions. And then bring those two, two sticks together and make it one. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bring those two sticks together and do what? Read it, read it, read it, read it. Please. Moreover, mm -hmm. thou son of man, mm -hmm. take thee one stick and write upon it mm -hmm. for uh, Judah and for the children of Israel, mm -hmm. his companions. And his companions, yes. Then take another stick mm -hmm. and write upon it mm -hmm. for Joseph, mm -hmm. the stick of Ephraim, mm -hmm. and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Mm -hmm. And join them one to another mm -hmm. into one stick. Mm -hmm. And they shall become one in mm -hmm. thy hand. Mm -hmm. 18. Mm -hmm. And when the children of 
thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by this? Mm -hmm. Say unto them, mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord God, mm -hmm. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, mm -hmm. which is in the hand of Ephraim, mm -hmm. and the tribe of Israel, his fellows, mm -hmm. and we put them with him, mm -hmm. even with the stick of Judah, Good. and make them one stick. And make them one stick. And they shall be one Hold on. in my hand. They shall be one. Jesus said something when he was preaching. He said, I have other sheep which are not of this flock. Remember? Did you remember? Yes, sir. Did you remember? Yes, sir. He said, I must bring them again, and they shall be one fold. And one. Remember, Jesus said, I have other sheep which are not of this flock. He said, I must bring them together, and they shall become one. And there shall be one fold. Remember. In Ephesians chapter 2. That's why I said the gospel. Was already preached by the prophets. In the Old Testament. Are you following what I'm saying? In hold on to where you are reading. Because you will, you will touch and you will go back. I want you to go with me. To Ephesians chapter 2. And read from verse 12 down till I tell you to stop. From verse 12 down. Verse 12. Yes. That at that time you were without Christ, mm -hmm. being aliens from mm -hmm. the commonwealth of Israel mm -hmm. and strangers from the covenant of promise, mm -hmm. having no hope mm -hmm. and without God in the world. Mm -hmm. But now in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. ye who sometimes we are far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. For he is our peace, mm -hmm. who has made both one mm -hmm. and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Mm -hmm. 15. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, mm -hmm. even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, mm -hmm. for to make in himself of twine mm -hmm. one new man, mm -hmm. so making peace. Amen. Amen. Now. For then, so making what? Peace. To make of himself one new man. So making peace. Go with me to John's Gospel and chapter 10 and read from verse 14 to verse 15. John's Gospel, chapter 10 and verse 15. As the Father had. As hold the father, on, hold on, let them get it. Now listen, read for me John's Gospel chapter 10 and verse 15. As the Father knoweth me, as the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. My goodness. And I oh, lay down my Don't life. be in a hurry. Even so know I the Father. The angels don't know the Father. And the Father desired companions for his son who will be if there's places say, ah, you and thy fellows are men are to be wondered at. When he was speaking to Joshua the high priest in the book of uh, Zechariah, he said, speak to Joshua the high priest. He was to bear the sin, the iniquity of the house of Israel. And he had been upon him with Satan at his right hand, attacking him, condemning him. And the Lord said, the Lord rebuked thee. Is it not a brand, a brand plucked out of the fire? And the Lord spoke, said, put a, a, a golden meter on his head. The high priest, Joshua the high priest. He bore the sin of the world. Adam did not deny Eve. Listen to what I say. Praise God. Just want, want you, want, I just wanted to listen to sing. He says, as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. That means everything. That's why John the Baptist, when he came, he said, the only begotten who is in the bosom of the Father has declared him. And the Father desired every one of you, each of you every day, should be having communion, communication with the Father. I'm telling you, when he began to open to me, this portal, like a door, like the way he took Apostle Paul, and started making known to him the knowledge of the mysteries of Christ. And he said to me, listen, 
He took me down and said, do you know what happened in Eden? I was seeking for a helpmate. This way I was seeking for a, a companion and a helpmate to, for my son. And the Bible says we are his fellows. Fellows, companions. We are his equals. We are joint heads. When we are joking around, playing with church, playing with the faith, we are twisted it now. You understand? We are not even following the heart of Jesus. The Jesus is following the heart of his father. The father wanted multitudes to be like him that will so much bring him joy and pleasure. He said, I always do the things that are pleasing to, his, to him, to his father. He always does those things. He said, as the father knoweth me, and I know the father, how many children of God know who their father is? The eternal father. I'm talking about the eternal father. All we do is use the name of Jesus for what we need. You understand? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You understand? In the name of Jesus against your enemy. In the name of Jesus for whatever we give Jesus. But we do not know. Now, read that John chapter 10 verse 16. As the Father knoweth me and I know the Father. And I know the Father. Yes? And I lay down my life for the sheep. I lay down my life for the sheep. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I lay down my life for the sheep. Yes? 16. Yes. The, fa- the son so loved his father, he delighted to serve. As the father knows me, he said, I lay down, we just finished, I lay down my life for the sheep. I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep because the father himself will gladly do it. The father will come from heaven. He never, he, the, 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 the one that heaven cannot contain, he comes to the garden of Eden to fellowship with who? Adam. He's not proud. He's not arrogant. He didn't say, angel, go and talk to him. Give him my name. The father comes down from glory and walk in the garden of Eden with Adam and talk with Adam. And commune with Adam. And eat, ate, and drank with Adam. Because they come in the cool of the evening, the cool of the day, to have communion, fellowship, to eat and drink with Adam. The father came from heaven. And he will eat and drink with him. That's why Jesus in Revelation 3, 20 says, I will come and sup with you. I will come and eat with, sup with you. We will have supper. We will have fellowship, communion. The father is not pompous. He's not arrogant. So Jesus knew him. As the father knoweth me, and I know him, I lay down my life for the sheep. And then he says what again? Other sheep. Here he says to, to Ezekiel, look at these people. They are wasted. They are finished. Their bones are dry. They are long in this condition. Humanity is finished. But can they live? Elijah, only you know. Ezekiel said, Ah, oh Lord God, thou alone knowest. He said, Now, nah, let's start. Preach, preach, preach. It's the preaching that brings life into you. Do you know Hallelujah. that? It's the preaching that wakes up your spirit, that quickens you. It's the preaching that gives life into you. Will stay away from church, stay away from the fellowship. Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is. How can you grow? You are in the marketplace, you are in the business, you are running from here to here. I'm going to here, meeting here and there. You cannot separate, you cannot have peace. You cannot have you cannot steal yourself. Be quiet, know what is more important. Look at it, it's like the story of uh, Mary and uh, um, uh, Martha. Martha was too busy preparing, cooking. Mary will go and sit at the feet of Jesus. When he's bringing you into glory and to show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness to show you the glory that he prepared for you to be to wear, to wear the glory, the glory that will envelop you. You will say, my, is it me? Do I deserve it? 
Did I pay the price? Did I labor enough? Was I worth this crown? Was I worth this exceeding glory? And the angels are marvel and you are this exceeding riches of his grace. The things you didn't deserve. And the angels will come and bow to you. And all the hosts, the sun, the moon will start to bow to you. And all the planets, endless billions and trillions, they will all, the stars themselves will acknowledge you. Your star, do you know each of you has a star? These are the things I say you don't know. And his father said, I, this morning, he said, look, I was looking for companions for my son. So he started it up, he knew. There's a mystery why you were formed from the dust of the earth. I will show you, I will give you that mystery soon. Why you were formed, the mystery why you were formed from the dust of the earth. Why God chose to make you to come from the dust of the earth. He could have created you like angels, right? But like I said to you, the angels, once their mind shifts, they have no more power to turn it. And they cannot turn. They have no repentance. But you, you are clay. If your man, he breaks you, remote you again. Remember, clay. I will teach you those mysteries. Why he formed man from the dust of the earth. Because you can repent, you can turn from iniquity even a hundred times. Even a, an angel cannot turn. Not even once. Once an angel turns to behold the face of God, he cannot turn back. Once iniquity is found in him, there is no way again. Because he's programmed like that. There is no repentance. And the devil knew there is no repentance. Now, John's Gospel chapter 10 verse 15. Let me close quickly. As the Father knoweth me. As the Father knoweth me. Even so know I the Father. Even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for and the I sheep. And I lay down my life for the sheep. For the sheep. And other sheep I have. Other sheep I have. Which are not of this fold. Look at this. Other sheep I have. Which are not of this fold. In that same Ezekiel 37. Remember. He said. I will bring the, house, the, the, the stick of Ephraim. And the stick of Judah. And make it into one. Right? Finish your scripture. Finish where you are reading. 16. Uh -huh. And other sheep I have. Uh -huh. Which are not of this fold. Uh -huh. Them also I must bring. Them also I must bring. And they shall hear my voice. And they shall hear my voice. Like you and I have been hearing. Right? Huh? And they shall become what? One fold. One fold. One shepherd. And one what? Shepherd. And who is that shepherd? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh my God, stand on your feet. Let's stop there tonight. Stand on your feet, my friends. Look at, you can go back. We haven't finished even, even Ezekiel 37. It is there. The whole gospel was revealed, was hidden inside that place. Whenever we preach, you know, we preach. We, uh, no, no, we preach. We, we bring private interpretation. Dry bones live again. Dry bones. Stand on your feet, everybody. Lift your hands to God. Come on, worship the Lord. Eh? Worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. You are one. Worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Thank you. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord, just worship Him, just worship Him, just worship Him. Just worship the Lord. Worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Just worship Him, worship Him. Lift your hands.
praise and worship and we call upon the Lord. Bless the Lord. Lift your hands. If I were you, I would go on my knees before the Lord. If I were you, I would kneel before the Lord. I will call upon the Lord, my God. I will call upon the Lord. 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 Lift your voices. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh God. to him. I'm not going to tell you what to say. You know what to say to him from your heart. Talk to the Lord, my friends. Talk to the Lord, people of God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus.